Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for October November 2022. I am going to do the presentation task which is task 6. The database and document is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Create a presentation of 6 slides using results.rtf so open powerpoint now we need to import the file results.rtf so open a blank presentation now click on new slide slides from outline select your folder and select the file results so you got the slides there is a blank slide here you can delete that unless otherwise instructed the slides must display a title and bulleted list use a master slide to display a thick black 3 to 4 point wide horizontal line so first let's open master slide for that go to view slide master now you have to choose the topmost slide which is numbered as one here now let's remove these placeholders we will insert text boxes as and when required so these three placeholders are removed now we have to draw a thick black 3 to 4 point wide horizontal line across the width of the slide about 3 centimeters from the top so approximately 3 centimeters from the top so you can check here by viewing the ruler click on view click on ruler so that the ruler will be displayed here so we have to draw a line almost 3 centimeter from the top so I'll draw the line here So we'll just reduce the width of this, bring the master slide title here. Now go to insert shapes, let's draw a line. Almost 3 centimeter. Press shift and draw the line so that it will be straight. It should be 3 to 4 point thick. So let's make the go to shape format, shape outline, weight 3 point. Let's make it black color as they have not specified any color here. The text 2021 event statistics on one line in a large black font aligned to the top right this text must be above the line so we have to insert a text box insert text box on the top right so type the text there 2021 even statistics make it right aligned and it should be a black large font so let's make it large next automated slide numbers on the top left so insert a text box here for the slide number top left so in the text box you can see the cursor then you go to insert slide number so slide number you can see here hash click on that so slide number is inserted so insert the slide number from inside the text box if you insert it directly sometimes it may not appear on the slide next your name center number and candidate number there is no specific position so let's give it bottom left again insert a text box give your name center number and candidate number 
make sure no master slide items overlap and ma master slide items must appear in same position on every slide. So the master slide is done. Now let's go back to the normal view. So view normal. So you can see the text appears on every slide. The line is there, the slide number and your candidate details are there. Next use the data in the file outcomes.csv to create a vertical bar chart. So let's open outcomes to create a vertical bar chart for only the top 6 ranked countries. So this is the required data only the top six ranked countries you should take and we have to create a bar chart which will display the names of the countries and the values of the average competitor points only. So here you can see the average competitor points are here. So this data and the country names. So we have to select the country names, the top six. So from here, you can see the rank one, two, three till six. So select the country till six and also the average competitor points. Now select this data, insert vertical bar chart. Label the chart as follows. The chart title must be top 6 countries in 2021. So we have to add the chart title here. It should be top 6 countries in 2021. Now value access title must be average points. So click on this plus sign you will see the axis title. Now let's give average points for the value axis. The axis title option you can find from here also. Next we have to give the category axis as country. So this is the category axis. Let's type there country. Next display only the data values at the top of each bar. So the data values must be shown at the top of each bar. You can go to data labels. If it's not shown here, you can click on chart element, data labels, more data label options and then select outside end so that the values will be shown here. Next format the value axis to display a minimum value of 0, maximum value of 32. So this is the value axis, select it, right click format axis, so minimum value must be 0 and the maximum value is 32. Minimum is uh, 0 and maximum is 32. And the increments should be 4. So you have to set the major as 4. Increments means the division. So you can see now it starts with 0 and 32 is the maximum value and increments of 4 are shown. Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title even entries. So let's copy the chart. So this is even entries, 
it should be on the left side so place the chart here Next, make sure no words in the chart are split. All data and labels are fully visible. No legend is displayed. The chart and its content do not overlap. So everything is fine here. Next, print only this slide as a full page slide in a landscape orientation. So this slide is slide number two. So go to file, print. You can select the slide number as two and make sure it is full page slide and you can print it. Next, format the bullets on slides 3, 4, 5 and 6 to display as a numbered list starting from 1 on each slide in ascending order as 1 to 6. So in 3, in slide 3, we have to make this a numbered list starting with 1 to 6. So you can go to a numbered list, set it to, again next slide 4, slide 5, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now on the 6th slide also we have to give the numbered list now save the presentation print the presentation as a handout with six slides to the page so now we have to print the presentation go to file print make sure six slides are selected here as handouts remove the slide number so that all the slides will be shown now the name your candidate details will be too small here so you need to add your name and details uh, either on the header or the footer so click on edit header and footer add header give your name center number and candidate number now you can print this So this is the end of the presentation task. You can find the link for the document and database in the description. Thank you for now.